Hi everybody, this is Trish from Art Journal Junkie. I've decided that my Dilusions journal is just the best thing since sliced bread. I'm really enjoying playing with it. The landscape of the two square pages together gives a very different sort of aspect and um, uh, yeah, aspect ratio to normal journaling, I suppose. Anyway, I found some um, beautiful opera rose acrylic paint at our craft store the other day. The one thing I found though is that it's a little bit too transparent but I just love the brilliance of it. So um, on the left hand side of my journal here you can see that I had written a whole bunch of rubbish and that's called asemic writing. I was actually showing it to some friends while I was at a journal class the other day. Anyway I am um, I'm not really covering it up. I'm going to let it shine through. It's not a problem. And I'm using a stencil that I cut myself on my Silhouette Cameo. and trying to do the Lisa Oxley thing. Now, poor Lisa, she's really getting it in the neck from me because I've watched every single one of her videos and I just love the way that she uses stencils in her artwork. So I call it the Lisa Oxley way. Anyway, um, I'm using these beautiful, vibrant turquoises, pinks, yellows, as you know, they're my colours. And I'm going through just playing around with my page, adding the uh, colours layer by layer, using the stencil, and um, I'll catch you at the back end in a moment. Now that I've got my background the way I like it, I'm going to start working on the text that I want to put, put on. I found a lovely uh, sentiment in a style of writing that I enjoy and which I can't do myself. So let me break away and just show you how I actually transferred. Um, this is not actually the sentiment that I used, but this is the principle behind it. How I transfer the writing uh, into my journal. So. On my iPad, I've taken an actual photograph of the um, sentiment and the style of writing that I found on Pinterest somewhere. And as you can see, I'm playing around to see what size I actually want it. And then because you can, it's still, uh, the iPad is still, um, uh, what's the word, reactive underneath the paper. You've got to sort of keep your fingers there and hold on for dear life so that um, while you're actually tracing the words that your iPad doesn't grow bigger or smaller, you know, the text. Anyway, so this is the idea. 
use a pencil do not use a black pen because if it bleeds through uh, your daily paper you're going to have a big mess on your iPad screen so now that I've done that I will actually find a piece of copy paper just to put underneath so that I can actually see what I'm doing and of course imagine to my consternation I couldn't find a piece of copy paper right there and then anyway here we go now I'm using a black Posca pen and the reason for that is it's a paint pen it's an acrylic paint so when I actually go to put this into my journal it's not going to smudge if you have um, like a carbon ink pen or an ink pen that does that is um, waterproof or non-reactive to water then fine that's great but I just use the good old Poscas because I love them so I, what I've done now is I've taken the sentiment I liked and I've traced over it and then I go back and I thicken parts of the actual sentiment. Not all the lines, just bits here and there, just to make it almost my own. So once I'm finished with writing it out, I've made sure that the paint is absolutely dry and then I tear away the excess paper. If you cut it, it'll leave a hard edge, so tearing it away um, makes it sort of softer uh, when you stick it in your journal. And I'm just using a matte gel medium, which uh, you can use any brand I guess but I actually stick it into my journal with the matte gel medium making sure that there is a lot of the gel medium so that the daily paper doesn't actually bubble or warp. And now for the piece de resistance. There's a wonderful artist, his name is Ben Kwok he has a Facebook group, I'll link it below, um, called Ornation Creation. And Ben does a sort of a, I guess you could call it Zentangle. Um, yeah, Zentangle inspired artwork, but with a huge difference. So I printed out one of his pictures, um, which is obviously Melissifant. Or Melis yes, Melissifant. <laughs> and um, because I printed it on my inkjet pr printer, I had to be very careful with the matte gel medium so that it didn't smudge. So I worked very quickly, plunked it in, and I've heated it um, to dry quickly as well. Yeah, the other thing that I'm doing, of course, is just a little bit of a touch up here and there. Um, I'm never happy and never finished um, with the journal page. I might come back to it. And the last thing I do, of course, is I put in the, my stomp, um, which is my initials, TR and the date and like I said I'm not finished so I go back with the stencil and I play around here and there and that is how I completed this journal page so I hope you've enjoyed this video if you have won't you consider subscribing to my channel and giving me a thumbs up please and come on over to Art Journal Junkie on Facebook uh, we've got a great group there and a lot of inspiration comes out of it and I hope that you've had a wonderful day today and I wish you lots more. Take care and see you all again soon. Bye for now.